Madden World, what it be like? It's your boy Fo Xbox 720 is the gamer tag on the PS4. This is Double Triple Madden OGs, and this is part two of our tray open offset scheme from the Philadelphia Eagles playbook. Now, if you didn't see part one, I definitely advise you to go click on part one and watch the video simply because the the play that we call the money play the one that we are scheming this entire thing around is only in part one i'm not gonna really go over it at all in part two um i don't even have to play art right now to show it's not out so uh what i want to do is discuss how we're gonna scheme around this to make this this shit like really really hard to stop so We'll go cover four as always, cover three, cover four, cover two. We want to make sure we work through all of that. So, tray open offset. We'll go ahead and call it. And FL Dig was the money play. Uh, but what I think is the second best play in this formation is going to be wide corner. And first, before we go over wide corner, I want to show y'all what the quick audibles are because I think the quick audibles definitely have some value. Three out of those four plays are going to be good. So, uh, stick is going to be the first one. Now, when do we call stick? We're going to call stick when they're going to do two things. Either they are going to man blitz you uh, and run like a blitz from man to man where you have one-on-one -on -one to the outside you're gonna block your running back um and then run stick or if they play cover one and press if they play cover one and press and we'll go ahead and try to recreate that let's go ahead and do that so this would be like a uh, this would be like a cover one right right all right cool then per it'd be somebody over the top like that right all right cool so what we would have with that is, let's show you. Go ahead, snap. Let me show you what happened. So what's gonna happen is you got two options here. Whitten is on that unbumpable hitch. So we know what the fuck to do with that, right? We're just going to smart route. I don't have to keep saying that over and over again. I put a video out about it. I talked about it in the part one to this uh, with Beasley. And now that's still very much a thing. So you'll find that in a lot of different plays. So we'll be able to exploit that if necessary in man to man. But then you're going to get this uh, unbumpable fade right here. And he's going to get that speed boost up the field. And honestly, if, if I can't. He's not going to be able to defend. If I can't get Pat Pete that has more speed than Terrence Williams and better man coverage uh, versus his route running uh, to cover him, then one-on-one -on -one is not a good idea. You don't want to leave him on an island in this formation. So I definitely would would try to keep this in mind just in case you see somebody trying to run like edge sting or something like that. You can definitely block the running back. Uh, and it won't come in. You'll have six on six. Put a hat on the hat, and then you can just throw the deep ball, especially if they try to press you to slow you down. So we want to talk about that. Uh, then the next uh, quick audible is going to be uh, inside zone. Now, with inside zone, they nerfed it. It's not as buff as it was last year, so I think that's important to note. It just isn't that good. It's okay, but... Um, when you are pulling the opponent in all of these different fucking directions, like everywhere you go, you doing some crazy shit. Like you you playing heavy to the left side, um, the strong side's going crazy. They're just moving players out and then you're gonna have numbers in the box. So like right now, they have four players in the box against your five blockers. So you're gonna be able to uh, get some movement uh, and that's really all we want is to get movement. I'll take five yards any day You know, that's gonna keep your chains moving and you don't want to become one-dimensional Because like I said before anybody that passes the ball every single down will not win uh, Will not win at a high rate Because they are one-dimensional. It's a it's really easy So you want to make sure you're at least 65 35 in terms of a pass to run like ratio at least I try to be like 60-40, you know, 
Um, but uh, to kind of move on beyond that, there's a 56 trap as well as a run play. I'm not gonna really go over that. But four verticals, we're not gonna be the dead horse. Everybody knows how to run four verticals, so we don't wanna talk about that. The PA read is the play that I like the most. Um, so we'll, right now we're in cover four. And this is just like the play that we talked out talked about out of single back jumbo. I mean, it's no different. So let's go ahead and do it again. And we got a cover four on the field. And this is these are all quick read. These are all quick audibles. Look at the play action right there. So you'll be able to use that. Um, that's what I like about the play action. It actually has a leak out. So you still have your running back as an option after the play action, which that's good. And as you can see, I'm I'm getting a good amount of yardage. Um, let's go ahead and try to throw it downfield again. Boom. So, you know, zones drop back too deep. So what's gonna happen is, is they're gonna get underneath that and you're gonna be able to have a read every single place, everywhere. So there's a read everywhere. Even if they run cover two, this is still gonna be open. You're not gonna have to worry about this being a problem at all. So that's a very good read against zone to have. It's always a good play to go to. And then, I, I mean, you can look at the routes and tell that you're going to have success against man. So I don't really have to show you man to man defense. That's just going to work against man. I know you can see it on the field. So we'll go ahead and talk about uh, the wide corner. So the first thing we want to talk about is let's say they're playing cover four because I know last year in the CFM leagues I played in. I was gonna I ran cover four a lot and I was thinking about going with cover four before I really start breaking down the zones and then I saw where this could be a problem, you know. So I was talking to some people and they were telling me basically, hey, uh, the post routes are uh, really hard to throw because the purples, right? If you're playing, um, if you're playing like just a cover four and you expect that purple to play the corner route, uh, this play is gonna keep that quarter flat still because of the in route. He is gonna get trapped between Beasley and Williams and try to play them. And when he does that, the corner route is gonna be wide open. And you just want to throw it out flat. You don't want to throw it up or else Pat Pete's going to play on it. So you want to wait a little bit, throw it out flat. Now, if he plays like a curl flat, um, then you'll just throw low to the end routes. Beasley's going to come open. You can throw it to him, turn up the field. If you look to the left, you got Elliott playing the sideline. And then Dez is going to be able to get the post. Not in the cover four, but he'll be able to get the post uh, later on, especially when you start looking at uh, cover three, cover uh, two. So we'll move to a cover two real quick. So we got it out in cover two. We'll go ahead and call this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to throw it like that. My bad. So we'll go ahead and do that. Sorry about that. Look down at my phone. All right. Um... So like I said, you just want to make your basic read. Collar cover two again. Oh, we just want to be careful. Boom, just like that, Dez is going to be in the post in cover two. So that's what I love. Like every, this play has a lot of potential because all of your zones are going to be really effectively kind of stomped the fuck out. Like, like this is cover two and Dez gets wide open look at the middle of the field i mean you can just look at the middle of the field and he's wide open um, and that's because i mean they have to respect these in routes so i think that's where the problem comes in uh then you could actually throw this outside to elliot uh as well because then like the flat routes are going if you play like a hard flat then the post to the outside is going to be open and then the post on the inside the dares is going to be open um just all kinds of zones have problems this year i hope they patch that because it's going to be a whole lot of that shit popping uh and it's going to be an issue 
So let's go ahead and put that back on the field. I didn't mean to take it off. Well, I guess we covered enough. Let's go, let's take it, let's put it on man real quick. Let's go back to uh, your big dime. All right, and one of the things that we want to look at with this particular play is what I would do if I see man, I'd probably think to maybe motion this guy. You don't have to, but, uh, and here's why. I just want to show you this. All right, well, what just happened? If they play man-to-man -man defense, then if you look to the right, both of these routes are unbumpable. So you cannot bump. So now that creates a huge issue with man-to-man -man defense. And I, I really do feel like man defense took a step backwards it used to be kind of like the go-to shit but then now there is so much you can do to beat man defense that it's a problem it's literally a problem you can't really rely on it i think what they've done this year more than ever has made it, it, it's been you have to mix up your defenses more you can't sit in one defense or one type of defense or else you are just gonna get torched and this is no different uh if you look here they are wide open both of those guys are um uh, Whitten is coming off the the slant elliot's gonna get open And then you're also going to see where uh, Dez is going to get open up the field. So we'll call it, put it back on the, on, on the field again. And you'll see, same results. Boom. And Dez is wide open up the field in the post. I mean, it's too much open against man this is just money against man every single route will get open against man and all of the routes except for Whitten's route is going to get bumped so that's even more of an issue in itself because everything is not getting bumped so they're all getting clean releases it's just problematic it really is um so that's why corner um, and all of the quick routes, uh, quick audibles, I mean, and that is not even going to complete the scheme. I still have like another video because now we want to throw even more wrinkles in. Like I said before, uh, we want to get the opponent conditioned to pay attention to the left side of the field. So we'll be able to do things on the right. I've showed you some things you can do on the right, but now we're going to start bringing, uh, we're going to implement a mini scheme within the scheme uh, that concentrates on the right side of the field. So now your opponent is just going to get real fucking loopy and out of whack. We're going to do that in part three and I'll cut this video short, but as always like, comment if i forgot some shit or comment if you want to add on i definitely don't mind people uh suggesting and building with your boy um but as always man if you feel like you can use this or if you feel like you can take this into the lab and and maybe take it onto the field definitely subscribe man because i'm trying to uh do the best that i can to bring you good content good solid content things that you can use uh ideas and con concepts that have substance so it'll make you a better Madden player. Um, so definitely hit your boy up, man. As always, respect the OGs. Peace.